Hello, universe. Welcome to my world. We do Angelina Jordan videos on this channel, and we go off in all different directions. And today we're starting age five when she's giving us a tour of her toys. This is my um, doll, and I always play he, um, here in my bed. Like, Japanese? this is Japanese. Wow, we lost one. It's something like arm and the elbows, so we have to find it. But that was age five. That was 12 years ago. And in the last 12 years, in her own way, Angelina Jordan has been giving us a tour of heaven. And that's what we will be following today. Now, this is not an original idea. 700 years ago, Dante in Florence, Italy, when he wrote the Divine Comedy, he also had a tour of heaven from Beatrice, and she led him from the heart. Now, Angelina Jordan has had a very good inspiration for her understanding of heaven. Her grandmother, Mary Zamani, is a famous painter. And in this very famous painting for Angelina Jordan fans, I think of this as her latter painting. And I have often described it as a humanitarian painting showing that we are all mankind together. But it is also a painting about heaven. You can see the angels up at the top and you can see the ladders up to heaven. And so this gives us an opportunity for reaching greater heights. Angelina has not only been surrounded by this painting, but she has been surrounded by her grandmother, the person who had the vision to do this painting. And so it is the constant influence that Angelina Jordan has been exposed to. Angelina Jordan herself, in her own words, actually describes what her experience of heaven is like. When I sing, I go to another world. It's, in the world, it's like uh, endless. It's, it's amazing, full of happiness and I love, it's, it's amazing. Now let's hear musically from Angelina Jordan what her experience as she takes us through the different level of her heavenly experience. First, we have a little bit of an introduction. But if we're talking about heaven, there are different levels of heaven. And some say that the moon and all of the planets are also part of the heavens. And this image is very much true with Angelina. Very often she even will use the image of the moon as part of her picture of heaven. Next, we'll be hearing her singing about the moon in a very unusual setting. And although the acoustics are very compromised, the setting for this moment is more important than the acoustics. And she even refers to some of the other planets in this song, which has a spectacular background. Angelina also uses the image of the moon as a heaven when she sings a million miles and someone is reaching out to her from the moon, which is really from heaven. And she herself is climbing the ladder to reach a higher place. He said I'm watching you from the moon. I'm everywhere, see everything you do. I can't see you, but I know your head like you're in my tears. Another original from Angelina is Seventh Heaven. This very much captures the paradox of the human condition. Because on one hand, she has a vision of heaven, but on the other hand, she's grounded in reality and the weight of reality on her shoulders while she still has the vision of heaven. The clip we're seeing from this song captures her great sense of fun. If you watch it carefully, I think the pots on the head 
and the way they're laughing together, I think this could have been totally spontaneous and not rehearsed. And Angelina Jordan has taken us all the way up the ladder with her, and we have reached the destination. Oh, I love to climb a mountain and to reach the highest peak. Heaven, I'm in heaven, and my heart beats so that I can hardly speak. And now that we reached heaven. I was going to illustrate it with some fireworks, but that's not so appropriate. Instead, I'm going to illustrate it with examples of exquisite beauty from Angelina Jordan. There are dozens and dozens of examples I could have chosen, and I've chosen three. The first is the beautiful ending of her version of I Have Nothing. The next example of exquisite beauty we will listen to actually begins as if a butterfly was landing on your hand with the opening of California Dreamin. Oh, the leaves are brown And the skies are gray And next we will be hearing from our friend Ivan Mendez, who shares our appreciation of the beauty of Angelina Jordan's art, and he describes it very well. And when he listens to it again, you can actually see him melt with his head thrown back. That second to the last note, it's the most amazing thing I've ever seen, I've ever heard. <laughs> hold it to like a very soft, very low point, and then brings her back out still before she ends the phrase. Amazing. I want you to stay. We all need a little bit more of heaven in our life, and sometimes we need reminding about it. And the true artist can help us, it gives us the image, reinforces it in us, and helps us get through our day. Angelina Jordan will continue to help us to get through our day in the future. Okay, gang, I'm out of here. I'll catch you later. Bye.